so you just got your first 3D printer or you're thinking about getting your first one soon. But where do you start? Well, today I'm gonna show you. My name is Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Hey everybody, welcome to The Edge of Tech where we aim to educate and entertain the maker community. Like I said, today we're gonna be walking you through the 3D printing process so you can get started in this awesome hobby. So there's a couple prerequisites before we go any further. Make sure your 3D printer is built and it's leveled. So if you already haven't leveled your bed, check out this video right here. So once you have your printer built and it's leveled, and if you're like me, you probably printed at least one of the test models that's on the SD card, we're gonna start from there. We're gonna load your slicer, we're gonna get a model, we're gonna slice it, and we're gonna print it. So let's not waste any more time, let's do it. So the first thing you wanna do is install a slicer. As you can see, I have a few slicers here. Uh, I like Prusa Slicer myself, but whatever comes on the card is okay too. Uh, if we jump into the CR10 Smart card here, you can see this comes from the Creality CR10 Smart, and they have a software and drive. Uh, this is the Creality Slicer software, which is a rebranded Ultimaker Kira. Uh, totally okay to use that. Once you load that, there's usually a profile that they set in there for you if it comes on these SD cards. Now, a lot of them will have built-in profiles as well, and Prusa Slicer is no different, so I'm gonna show you a little bit about Prusa Slicer. I really dig uh, Prusa Slicer, it has a lot of great features, and this is what we're gonna be using today for our slicer. So what's a slicer? Very quickly, a slicer takes the model that you choose, and slices it or programs it to work on your 3D printer. That is the fastest, easiest way I can say what it does. So we have our slicer here. I'm gonna come up, we want the CR10 Smart. So I'm gonna just choose that CR10 Smart here. Uh, in Prusa Slicer, you can choose the PLA, of course, the detail. You can do this in Kira as well. Either way, uh, if you wanna just start with defaults, I would start whatever they have uh, and see what happens, tune it from there. You don't have to get super involved in this right away. You just wanna see your printer print for the first time, right? So I'm gonna use the uh, Creality CR10 Smart with a Creality PLA at point, uh, one two detail. So once you have your slicer ready to go and it's installed, the next thing we need to do is go find a model. So when you're looking for a model, there are several sites you can get them from. You can go to uh, Thingiverse, My Mini Factory, um, Colts 3D or something like Thangs here. Now Thangs is a free site and they have a ton of models, about seven and a half million it looks like. In Thangs you can actually search by whatever you want, whether it be geometry or whatever really. In this case, I think we should start with a mini gym. So I'm gonna type in mini gym and as it searches, there we go. Uh, the first thing that comes up is the Mini Gym Tree Topper. Shane actually remixed the Mini Gym for this, and I showed it in Hot Makes recently. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Oh, look, the Mini Gym STL. We have Earthworm Gym. We have all sorts of stuff. In this case, let's use my Mini Gym STL, and the link for this will be in the description as well. So once you're on a site, you can kind of grab a hold. You can drag it around and see what it's gonna look like, all that stuff. So once you know what model you wanna use, let's use the mini gym for this video. What you wanna do is download it. So we will download. It'll download the STL file and that's the file we need to put in the slicer. So from here, we jump back to Prusa Slicer or whatever slicer you're using and we'll slice the file and get it ready for the printer. Okay, we're back in Prusa Slicer. Uh, I'm gonna hit the little plus sign up here. I'm gonna go to my downloads and double click Mini Gym and that should bring the Mini Gym up just like that. Now I'm gonna leave this at 100%. You can click and drag around the model and kind of see what it looks like. I always like to make sure I am in the center of the bed, which this icon right here will do. In this case, I wanna use as many stock settings as we can to keep it very easy for your very first sliced model. I'm gonna use infill 15% is fine. In this mini gym, we do not need any supports, so I'm gonna say no supports. Um, up in the top left, I'm gonna to go to print settings here. We are going to uh, see everything they have. I'm gonna use completely stock settings. I'm not changing anything here. Um, infill, like we talked about, 15%. There are many different types of infill here. You can choose whatever one you want, really. It doesn't matter. In my case, I think I'm just gonna leave it on a grid. 
the filament settings, uh, it all is based on whatever profile they have. In this case, I chose the Creality PLA, I believe. I know I'm going to be using a coax filament for this. Um, and so I want to change my first layer here to 220 because I always print my coax filament at about 220 and that's PLA. I would definitely suggest starting with PLA. Uh, and 60 degrees on the bed. So I know the nozzle is going to print at 220. The bed is going to print at 60. I clicked up in the platter button here and you can see it took me back to here. Now I don't want to do anything else to this. Uh, I, again, I'm going to use as many default settings as I can just for this print. So I'm going to go to slice. And what this does is it breaks that model up to many different layers and that's how the 3D printer prints it. And we can actually get a really quick idea of that. If we break this down, you can actually see. So that'll be the very first layer it's going to do. And if we bring the slider up, you can see it builds the model one by one, one layer at a time. So it, once it's done with that layer, it goes to the next one and the next one and the next one. And eventually, if we watch this all the way to the top, your printer will print this right here. And that's a mini gym, so that's perfect. It's ready to go on the printer. You didn't do anything special to it at this point because we're just starting out. So the next step is to get this model on the SD card and then put it in the printer to get it printing. Okay, so I took the SD card that came with the CR10 Smart. I put it in the SD card reader that came with the CR10 Smart and I put it in my computer here. Uh, when I did that, I got a file that looks like this. This tells you everything that I printed recently. So we needed that to be open so we can save our slice to the SD card. Now in Prusa Slicer on the bottom right corner, you can actually uh, click right here and that'll bring up the SD card automatically. In Cura, you can save it straight to the SD card as well. It's called the Mini Gym here and it gives you some other details as well. So we're just gonna hit save. And if you notice, this is called a G code file. The G code file is what the 3D printer reads. And that's what we have to save this as from your slicer to the SD card and it saves in G code. From here, what we need to do is eject our SD card. You can either do it right here in Prusa Slicer, or if you bring up the drive, you can right click when you find it and you can actually eject it like that as well. Just make sure you eject it and don't pull it straight out because you don't want it to go corrupt. Well, I hope you guys are getting value out of the video today. If you are, please squish that like button it really helps the channel out. It spreads the video to more people and I really, really appreciate it. Now back to it. All right, so you have your model saved to your SD card. We went through the slicer already. We sliced it with the generic settings uh, and we saved it to our SD card. It could be a micro SD card. It could be a big one like this one for the CR10 Smart, whatever you have. The next thing we need to do is put this card in this SD card slot, wherever that is on your printer. In this case, Mine is right in the front of the CR10 Smart right here. Yours could be on the side, it could be in the back, but wherever it is, that's where you need to put it. Always refer to your manual because all the printers are different and I can't tell you exactly where it's gonna be. We're gonna turn this printer on. I'm gonna choose the print option. I'm gonna select the file we just saved to that card and then we're gonna print a mini gym. And voila, we're done. We have this awesome mini gym right here printed in this amazing Poly Alchemy color. Uh, you can find Poly Alchemy on Printed Solids website. Uh, they are gonna be printing this now, and I absolutely love the Poly Alchemy colors. I believe this is called Emerald Green, if I remember right, and as you can see, this thing, it just completely shines. It is gorgeous. Uh, this little mini gym is a lot of fun to print. It doesn't take that long relatively, depending on your printer. I printed this in pretty tight layers at I think 0.12, so this did take around four hours, but it looks so good. Uh, there is a little bit of weirdness in the top. When I was away, I believe it got clogged or stuck. I'm not sure, I'm gonna find out. Other than that, you did it. You printed your very first model, and we went from getting your slicer, slicing it, putting it in your printer, and getting it printed. And from there, you can do this many times over and over again. Now you will have to do settings. You'll have to dial this thing in. You'll have to get the settings right and spend a little time doing that. But you have the basic idea of what it takes to start with a model and make it print. With that being said, let me know in the comments if you got value out of this video, if it helped you, and if there's anything you think I should add next time I do a video like this. I hope this video could help you along to start your 3D printing journey or 
help you ease your mind about getting into 3D printing because I know it can be really scary when you don't really know where to start. Hopefully this video gave you that. Well, I hope you guys learned something today and as always, keep printing.